Hey miners, if you don't know yet, the magnetic shafts are tier 5 mod for the Nishanka Bolt Shark crossbow. And I must say, this mod is an awesome mod, especially for those who are gearing up for a DPS kind of a scout. This mod actually increases the damage to targets that are electrocuted, and once done correctly, will have an increased damage to the enemies. So I want to show you how to properly use this mod in order for you to produce a really really good damage deal scout that Carl will be really proud of. So for educational purposes, we're going to be using the Assault Rifle Deep Core GK2 with an electrifying reload overclock. Now this overclock electrocutes enemies that got hit by the bullet every time you reload. First things first, this combination you don't need to use it on regular grunts because they're easily killed using your primary or just the regular bolts of your crossbow. So instead, use this bolts or use this combination against big or large enemies like the Praetorian, Oppressor, Dreadnought, or even like the Spitball Infector. Anyways, we always start by electrocuting the enemy and then prepare shooting with the crossbow. But there's a green big butt there, pun intended by the way, we don't directly hit the enemy with with the bolt. Instead, we're gonna use the magnetic shafts to be attracted to the enemy. So we aim a little bit farther from the enemy, not directly at the enemy. And also make sure that the enemy is still stunned before you shoot your crossbow. But there's also something that I really want to add, especially if you're dealing with enemies like Praetorians or Oppressors, you do need to take off their armor so that we can actually see their weakness, which is normally their green butt. So it's very important we still need to position ourselves to a place where we can see or aim at their weakness because the magnetic shafts works or targets the closest body part within its radius. So if you're facing a Praetorian, the closest body part will always going to be a shell or the armor. Let's take a look at it differently by checking out the Spitball Infector. This enemy's weakness is right there in the middle of its body, so it's very easy to target. So here, what I did was I aim at the side closest to its body and its weakness. And because of the magnetic shafts, it directly aims or hits the weakness, killing it easily. Here it is again, but this time with the detonator, which has a very clear area of weakness. So aim to the side of that weakness, and then voila, it's going to be a direct hit, destroying that weakness and dealing a big or huge amount of damage. So just keep on doing this technique and easy peasy, that detonator is going to be dead. Now let's talk about what you should not be doing if you're using the Magnetic Shafts mod. Do not use it when you're very close to the enemy. Even though we know that crossbows are a lot more deadly when using at close range. But because of the nature of the tier 5 mod Magnetic Shafts, it will not work and will just miss your enemy. Another thing, magnetic shafts do not work against loot bugs or fester fleas. So don't waste those precious ammo on them. And one more, do not use the magnetic shafts if there are multiple enemies that are electrocuted. Because if you're targeting one, you are not sure which enemy is gonna get hit. And now as a bonus tip, which I do kind of mention, yes, you can actually use magnetic shafts against dreadnoughts. Now normally dreadnoughts are hard to electrocute if you don't have Bosco. But if you're doing it solo, you can actually use the electric bolts of the crossbow to directly electrocute it and then switch to your normal bolts and there you have it. Easy dreadnought kill. So if you want to master being a scout and use different kinds of bolts, please do consider subscribing and also check out this video over here. And if not, you can also check out my other tips and tricks for Deep Rock Galactic over here. And remember to continue to rock and stone.